welcome to day to day with Ray with me Ray Ray so it's still before midnight I apologize in advance that I'm whispering everybody is asleep I think my son is still up I don't know my room I know my roommate's up but I'm just trying to be a little respectful and try to be as quiet as I possibly can <clears throat> But I am tired. I'm just getting my fondant together. Um, I'm working on a different type of swag. I've never made these until tonight. Um, I'm doing my 50th anniversary cake. And I was a procrastinator today. And I did not make my cake early. I just baked my cake at 7 o'clock tonight. And I should have baked some when I came home from my walk. But I was so tired and my legs hurt so bad and they still hurt my knees hurt the worst and yeah so I didn't do that so now here I am tomorrow is um, the party that I was invited to um, she works up at the fire station and she asked me I've done a party for her before a private party and she said, hey, will you guys come to our party? She said, will you bring um, your jewelry and set up? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to, you know. And uh, she's helped me out before by making, you know, a little bit of money. And uh, which will help me for my, for Christmas. And for, um, I'm doing a vendor holiday show. So I'm getting all that together. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna do that, but I have to leave it like tomorrow too, so this cake has to be done. So at least it's baked, it's together. Both the crumb coat and the top coat of icing is on it. I still have to do, I still have to make fondant and cover the cake, which should be okay. And then I'm gonna do a pearl finish on it. And then because it's the 50th anniversary, it's gold. So I've been making, they're actually still wet, but let me see if I can hold them up. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe I'll see if I can just hold one up. These gold swags, can you see it? Gold, gold. Every time I just wanna say gold, I always think of, um, gold member Austin Powers so if I did my measurements correctly I ain't no good at math um, the cake is um, 27 inches around in diameter um, I think it's like 27 and a half maybe 28 oh excuse me there'll be a lot of you audited this video I apologize um, and they're about two and a half inches at the longest points, so I need about 11, 12 of them. Right now I have two, four, six, eight. Is that right? Two, four, six, eight. Right now I have eight of them, but I'm going to make some extras, so I'm just working at least on the swag part, so that way I have that part done. And I'm going to show you how I made these, because... Like I said, this is the first time I made them, and I saw this on Pinterest, and I wish, well, I should move the thing down so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just cutting out circles right now. Um, that's all I'm doing, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we'll do 14, just to be on the safe side. I'm trying to think how many points I'm going to have. And I don't know if I should just... If I should use my rose cutter or if I should use something else. I don't know. I'll have to say. To put where they connect. So I really wanted to put roses. But we'll see. We will say, I don't like the way that looks. 
Okay. So I'm going to play with that too. Alright, let me ball this up. And I need to paint. So you don't really need to watch me do this. I'll take a drink. I'm a, I'm a bit parched. I need to make sure there was no ants in it. Delicious. Delicious. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I just took, um, I have this AmeriColor airbrush um, food coloring. This is gold. Um, it's great for just painting on cakes because um, it has the alcohol in it, but I still add a couple drops to it and um i think i've showed you before i get this from the liquor store they're a dollar a bottle this is like the only thing i ever go in there for because it has like a really high alcohol content value and then i added some of my um pearl dust luster dust whatever is it, whatever you want to call it so i'm just mixing it up and then i'm just painting my circles um and that's really it. I'm just painting them. And then, uh, once they get done and once they dry, well, I'll paint them first. I don't want to get the back too messy like I did that one because I need the white part on the back. But I do have white food coloring now, so. I can uh, go over that a little bit if if need be because you want to get around the edges um, of the circle so but yeah I mean I can move you guys down or let me hold on real quick all right I think you guys can see a little bit better now so basically well you can't really see but you can see right here I um just painted the circle the gold and uh, um, when I move this one you'll see this one too and then try to pick it up there we go that's all I'm doing is I'm just painting them gold they don't really look gold I don't think but once you put the um, color on them the luster dust pearl dust stuff they will look gold so but yeah that's what I get for procrastinating today but I was tired like I said my girlfriend she did four miles she left right right in the dust which is fine because I told her you go do you because there's no way I'm gonna be able to keep up with her she walked fast My roommate was up. All right, and I actually this is um, the paper I got this from Pinterest on how to make the swag. It's from the Buttercup Kitchen. So that's my little instructions. Cause like I said, I've never made these swags before. So. Like I said, I'm just painting these. I'm doing the outer ring first. So that way when they're folded, there's still color on the outside. And then I'm just coloring the... I love to paint. I like to paint ceramics. And it's just very relaxing. Very relaxing. So I have a little battery. So... I guess I should probably show you guys how these things are made. I'll show you all in one second. My son had a fun day in school today. The Baltimore Ravens went to his elementary school and they had like a pep rally. So he had all kinds of fun things to tell me when he came home from school today. So 
talking about the cheerleaders and their dances and the trombones and he was like but mom it was so loud because I don't know if you guys remember my son has very sensitive ears he had um he did get tubes put in his ears but his ears still bother him and loud noises if I yell at him he covers his ears and most parents would get offended but I just know it's because I'm loud and it's bothering him and he's having problems in school with behavior so I don't know if his ears are bothering him again because that's what we figured out it was last time and I think his tubes are actually due to come out like fall out on their own so maybe they already have I don't know but I feel for him because kids just cannot be kids anymore like they they can't like my son's schedule is ridiculous and that is no joke like it is insane they only get 20 minutes for lunch and 20 minutes for recess he's a first grade he's six years old and then it's like you have to wonder what they really consider bad behavior sorry this is like all because is it just bad behavior or is it really bad behavior or is it just him being a kid you know like I don't I don't understand like I don't know kids have it so rough they just need to go back to the way things were let kids be kids you know I don't know I just don't know and I just don't get it like there's so much pressure on kids these days all right all right so I got all that painted so I'm gonna use so this is my cookie cutter that I'm using oh so I'm gonna start with this one right here because I think you guys can see it a little better so I'm gonna take my cookie cutter and it said to make a crescent shape so you cut it use the same cookie cutter okay mine are still wet so it's okay and then you take it and then you fold your oval in half like that okay I don't know how well you can see that you fold your oval in half and then I'm gonna take a little bit of my sugar glue which is uh, water and a piece of fondant. Why does it look, I look all bunched up? What's going on over here? And then we'll do that. And then you add this back on. Top like that. And then I'm just going to let that dry for a few minutes. Because then... You're going to come in and then you're going to cut the ends off like this. Like I said, they're still not 100% dry, so. Just cut the, you know, the ends off. And then you're going to shape it. I'm trying to make sure you can see. So I'm just going to kind of bring that up like that. I'm going to cut the middle out. And shape it. And there we go. And then we have our finished swag. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to take my pearl dust. And I'm going to go over it in gold over the whole thing in gold pearl dust. And this one give it a really pretty shine. This is still a little tacky, but that's okay. Just like that. You can't really see. Oh, too much, too much. Uh-uh. And then... There's your swag. And then you just connect them, you know, going around the cake, and then you put something right there. Um, oops. 
I wanted to um, make roses and I'm going to do uh, the leaves in a green pearl um, with the rose in the middle but then I'm thinking I wonder if I should even do that so I don't know what I'm going to do for those now I don't know I'll figure it out I guess at some point so we'll do the crescents we'll fold it over This one got a little messed up, but that's okay. Get my little sugar water, sugar glue, or whatever you want to call it. There we go. I'll let that sit for a minute. I'm going to do some more of these. did it without messing it up I did it so yeah I'm just making my little swags and uh that one's like really low I didn't fold that one over enough that's all right It's okay. They can't all be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Now see this. I want this to be the rose. I don't know. I'll have to play with that later. Because that's still too soggy for me to mess with. But yeah. So that's it for Fonda Friday. Um. I can save the picture and I could put it on my um, raised cakes page um, if you guys want me to. Like I said, I'm going to make a couple more of these and then I'm actually going to just go to bed because um, I could finish the rest tomorrow. Because I'm going to put pearls, I'm going to put um, sugar pearls all around the bottom of the cake and that's going to be tedious and gold gold the Midas touch gold sorry I had to um so yeah I'm just gonna finish my swags and at least I'll have them tomorrow and I'll make fresh fondant tomorrow and I'll roll it out and cover the cake and put my swags on and my pearls and I guess that's it so I I don't know if I'll make a vlog tomorrow, but if not, I will see you at some point this week. So, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know you're watching. And thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys, and thank you for subscribing and following me on some of my late night babblings and crazy cake making. Um, so yeah. Alright guys, I love you, and remember, be kind to one another, because... What am I going to say? <laughs> you don't know who, what kind of a battle somebody's fighting. So be kind to everybody. And on that note, peace, love, and happiness. Good night, everybody. Bye.